Hey, what's really going on, y'all? So word around the campfire all over the country, all these companies are switching to these new ELDs and a lot of people are having trouble with them. At the last company I worked with, we had the Qualcomm and then we switched to Omnitrax. And at the company I'm with now, we got PeopleNet. But I know all the ELDs and all the regulations are pretty much the same so what i'm gonna do on my people net with my elds all day long today i'm gonna literally go through every single status change that i make every annotation and i'm gonna talk about it while i do it and i'm gonna talk about why i'm making this certain status change such as using yard movement or just simply going on duty, why I'm going off duty instead of on duty, and when I go on duty and why I'm going on duty at that time versus this time before. So hopefully this helps y'all. I know in the trucking community on YouTube, everybody's sick of trucking videos, but this is really something new. So I figured y'all would appreciate it because it's really something that isn't really being covered yet. So. Be safe, stay tuned, one. If I'm curt with you, it's because time is a factor. I think fast, I talk fast, and I need you guys to act fast if you want to get out of this. I've been around, you know. All right, first status change is me going off my break and on the on duty to do a pre-trip. Now, you see how my change status button is not available, it's not lit up. I need to hit stop break in order to change that. I do believe if I was in the sleeper berth right now, that change status would be available. Now, I don't think that there is a law saying that you can't be on rest break whether you're on the sleeper berth or sleeping at your girlfriend's house, all right? I just always go on rest break. Now, shout out to Rusty, because when I go home for the weekend, I always go on rest break, which is what I'm on right now. See how it says off in the top left? That's what I do when I go home. Well, I just found out that the law is that you have to actually log out of the truck, all right? But you can't go home and go into the sleeper berth. That is against the law, because you're not in the sleeper berth. The only time that you can be on the sleeper berth status is when you are in the sleeper berth. So if I pull into a truck stop and leave the truck, I need to be off duty, not in the sleeper berth. And I do believe that whether I'm in the truck or whether I'm out of the truck, as long as I'm off duty, I'm good to go. But the only time that you can choose that sleeper berth button is when you are in the sleeper berth. So my first duty status change is gonna be going on duty to do a pre-trip, all right? So I'm gonna go to stop break. Now look at my available options. On duty yard movement down here, that's only for on duty yard movement. I am not on duty yard movement right now. I'm sitting at a truck stop park, so I'm gonna go on driver. It doesn't say driving, it says driver. On duty not driver, well, I am the driver. I'm still not driving, but I am the driver. So I need to go to this one right here. On duty driver. Of course, this is the one that you wanna go to when you go home for the weekend or whatever. That's what you wanna do when you're seeking safe haven. That's what you wanna do if you wanna stay on duty instead of being clicked on to driving when you go over five miles an hour at a ship or a receiver. And the sleeper berth is where you wanna go when you are in the sleeper berth only, dog. On duty not driver is for a passenger. You see anybody over there? On duty not driver is for a trainer. Me neither. All right, so let's go on duty driver. All right, now I'm gonna go to my logs and I'm gonna annotate that. See how it says on duty in the top left? There's a little green line right there that just came up on on, all right? Events. That's my only two events past midnight right there. See, I'm on duty, off to on, right? Now. I'm gonna click it just like this, bam. I'm gonna select annotate, bam. What am I doing? Free trip. Done. Submit. All right, now we're gonna go do our pre-trip physically, and then we're gonna come back and do the pre-trip in the computer. All right. We did an eight minute pre-trip physically. Now we have to do it digitally, all right? Here we go. Home button. Driver. Inspections. New. See all your options? 
pretty. Name. Tap. Pre. Tap. Trailer numbers. Three, two, three. And three, two, four. Tap. Any defects found? No. Save. All right. Now watch this. Go to your ELD. Logs. I'm trying to show you something here. Go to logs. All right. You see my graph? When I click on duty driver, do you see any mark that went to the D for driving? I don't. It was on duty driver, not on duty driving. So you see my on duty, right? All right. Now click your events button. That's the events button. I want you to see this whole thing right here. I only have two events that have taken place. My off and my on. Now when I was when I did my pre-trip, I took two actions. I selected on duty and annotated it pre-trip, right? And then I selected the inspection button and digitally put in a pre-trip, right? Where it says pre-trip, that is my annotation that I put in. The pre-inspection by me and my code right there is when I went to driver and digitally put in my inspection. Look at the difference between the times. 437 and 445 at 437 i clicked on duty driver and annotated it pre-trip then i did my digital pre-trip selecting inspections at 445 so i started it at 437 and ended it at 445 and you do the same exact thing at the end of your shift but you select post trip post trip that's what DOT wants to see, all right? You do not want to click yard movement to do a pre-trip. And I'm going to tell you why. Because you are not moving. Now, check this out. Change status. Let me ask you a question. Do you see any option on here that says driving? I don't. You are going to be automatically clicked onto driving when your vehicle goes over five miles an hour. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Cancel. I'm just gonna simply take off and go to five miles an hour. I'm gonna get to the end of this parking lot and I'm gonna show you this change. Now you see where it says on duty D? That D does not stand for driving dog, it stands for drive bird, all right? All right, so peep game. Right now I'm currently waiting on a truck to back into his parking spot, okay? So you remember that eight minute or seven minute difference between me starting my pre-trip and digitally doing my pre-trip in the computer? You remember that seven to eight minute gap? That gap is now gonna be bigger on my graph, on my on duty because I haven't pulled to five miles an hour yet, all right? And I'm gonna show you that. But I'm gonna show you what happens when you pull to five miles an hour and how it automatically takes you to driving. You do not have to select driving. It automatically does it as soon as you breach five miles per hour. Let's just go right now. All right, we're at five miles per hour. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna get these people my uh, receipt so they let me out of the gate and then I'm gonna stop and show you what's up. All right, we pulled over so I can show you this. Now look at the bottom. All I did was go over five miles an hour and you see driving, right? I never selected driving, choose driving and change to driving. All I did was pull over five miles an hour. Now let's go look in here at the e-logs. All right, see where it says D? That is driving. Earlier it said on D, which stands for on driver. Now it says D, driving, all right? Like I said, D stands for driver. On D stands for on duty driver, all right? Now let's go check out our logs. Now we're gonna have a real big gap in our on duty and driving, but let's go peep game because we're on driving status right now. All right, see how we went from off down to on. And then as soon as I went over five miles an hour, it clicked me on to driving, all right? Let's click the events button. We're gonna have the off, the on, engine power up, a diagnostic, because y'all saw the computer died. So that's what you're gonna see when the computer dies, is that kind of stuff right there. All right, and there's our drive right there, 4.52 a.m. So we went from off to on. You clearly see the time difference between when I went on duty and annotated it pre-trip, and then when I did the driver inspections, pre-trip inspection by me. You see the time difference, and then as soon as I went over five miles an hour, it clicked me on to driving. So again, that D stands for driving, and that on driver 
is on duty and you are the driver. It doesn't have an ING at the end. I'm trying to make this perfectly clear because I dealt with somebody that was very, very confused about that and you know who you are, but I'm not gonna say your name. No, I'm just getting warmed up. All right, so I'm gonna drive 12 miles up the road. I'm gonna get to my shipper where I'm picking up my load and I'll show you my duty status changes and my annotations. Stand by and peep game, one love. All right, so we've arrived at our location and it's asking me, do I want to start a trip? I'm gonna say yes, I don't know why it's so blurry. So we arrived at our location, it's asking me if I want to start a trip. I'm gonna hit yeah, workflow. Yes, I have arrived, have I arrived? Yes. And now this is gonna come up right here for me to put in my stuff, but I'm gonna suspend it so I can do my duty status changes. So I'm gonna just suspend it, bam, just like that. for a hot minute you already know that every single place you go to every single place you deliver to is going to be different it's always going to be different circumstances and i say that to say this that that situation that i'm in dictates whether i'm going to go immediately into rest break to save my hours whether i'm going to go on duty and not drive over five miles an hour for loading if i have a bunch of trucks that i gotta wait into the back of i'm not going to choose on duty because I want to save my hours. I want to conserve my hours so I have the maximum amount of hours to work with on my 70 hour and my 14 hour clock. You feel what I'm saying? At this point right now, I don't have anybody in front of me. Nobody. See that? There's nobody in front of me. So I got, you know, I'm not going to be here long. So this time I am going to choose yard movement instead of on duty. Actually, I'm, I'm going to choose on duty and not drive over five miles an hour because I want to prove a point. I want to show you something. All right. If I had a long distance to drive through the shipper or a receiver, like a mile through the complex or whatever, that is ideal for yard movement. So I won't get clicked on to driving. You, you see what I'm saying? But here, I'm going right there. I mean, it's it's right there. It's, you know what I mean? It's less than a half a football field away. So there's no point in me choosing yard movement. I can just go on duty and not drive over five miles an hour to click me into driving. So again, this is what pops up when I arrive at a location. I don't have my paperwork yet, so I don't need this. I need to change my stats because see how it still says driving? So I'm just gonna hit suspend. Press the back button and get it out of there. All right, change status. Because right now that D right there, that stands for driving, okay? It doesn't say on duty driver. It doesn't say on duty D, which stands for driver. It just says D, which means driving, all right? So I'm gonna change my status. See how I can't change it to on driver because I'm still in driving status? My buddy, he wants immediately to be on duty, even when he's doing his pre and post trip. So he chooses on duty yard movement, but he's not even yard movement. So it doesn't make any sense. So I try to tell him how he can get on duty driver without being in the driving status. And this is how you do it. Hit cancel. And now when I hit this rest break button, I promise you, it's going to be so quick that I go to on duty that it's not even going to ever log me in as me being off duty rest break. So let's hit rest break. Yes, I want to start a rest break. hate that hourglass now from here hit stop break and there you go on driver not on driving there is no status for on driving the driving status change is automatic so you see how it does not say d on the left side anymore it says on d in parentheses that means i'm on duty and i am the driver now if i go over five mi miles per hour it will click me into driving so this is all i want to do at this point in time now let's look what happened remember how i hit rest break and then I stopped the rest break. Remember when I hit the off duty rest break and then switched it to on duty? Let me ask you a question. Do you see a line that goes up to off duty from here? I don't, I'm on duty, all right? Now let's go to the events button. Let's scroll all the way down. All right, that was the automatic on duty. Those are the diagnostics and all that crap. All right, so see that on duty right there? This is when I pulled in the parking lot and stopped. This is the on duty that I just chose. So I'm gonna hit that, I'm gonna annotate it. Well, see how that automatically comes up? You gotta suspend that and get back out of there. It's a pain in the butt, but it is what it is. We gotta deal with it, people. We go to logs, events. So we're all the way down to the bottom. There's the on duty that I did manually. There's the on duty that happened automatically when I stopped, all right? So we're gonna hit that, we're gonna annotate it. Loading, done, submit. And there it is right there, all right? So like I said, if there were a whole gang of trucks in front of me and I didn't want to waste my on-duty time, 
Go ahead and delete that. You want to keep this empty. You don't want it. You don't want all your memory filled up because your computer will act real slow. But if there were a bunch of trucks in front of me, and I was just going to be creeping three miles an hour every 15 to 20 minutes, I would hit rest break. And then, when I get inside there, then I would go to on duty. And I would annotate it loading, just like I did. And you already saw that. You see that yellow, that one that's lighted up? Let, let's click that. It wants you to review your logs, all right? I hate that hourglass right there. Hate is a very strong word. But I still hate it. Now, when it, when that review logs is lit up like that, what it wants you to do is certify your logs. And all you gotta do is hit that certify button and put in your password. All right, check this out. The yellow button is still popping up orange, all right? You see where it says 11-20-2019? Shout out to my wife. Today's her birthday. Watch what happens when I hit that driver options because I've already certified every single action that we have taken today, all right? Watch what happens when I hit this. Watch the date change. It wants me to certify my logs for yesterday. Watch this. Review logs. That hourglass is going to become everybody's best friend. All right, look at the date. 11 19 that was yesterday it wants me it simply just wants me to certify my logs from yesterday so certify you already know the rest all right now you see the driver options it's not lit up yellow anymore so all events are certified let's click this resources button real quick and click the shipments button that's my bol number from the last load i did yesterday we want to remove that because we're going to be putting in another one Go ahead and hit done for now. Home. And then pretty soon our thing's going to pop up again where I got to put in my bill lading number and all that stuff. Look at the bottom real quick. See where it says on duty primary driver? There's on and then in parentheses D. That stands for driver. On duty primary driver. That D does not stand for driving. If we were driving, that word on would not be there. You feel me? self-load myself like in that Alpina loading process video I'm not gonna get my paperwork until about 10 to 15 minutes after I'm loaded and 15 minutes is a sufficient amount of time to be on duty legally so I'm gonna be off duty that entire time that I'm loading myself because it kind of takes a hot minute and then at that point I'm gonna go to on duty yard movement to get all the way over to where I got to scale out and I'm gonna annotate it loading get my paperwork and do my thing if that makes any sense I hope it does so I already shut my lid. I pulled off the scale. I did not go over five miles an hour, so we're still on duty. Got my bill of lading number, 54.06 ton. Any detention? No. There it all is right there. And remember earlier in that one video, when you're here and you put in your weight, let's get it out of there. If I got 54.06 ton, right, and you put in 54.06, it says 5.406. You got to add a zero to that, and then you got your weight. I already selected any detention? No. You see where it says driver comments? Say if I was getting a split load of type one and slag, well, it's not gonna give me an option for two bill lading numbers or two different weights or any of that. So what I do in that predicament when I have like a split load, what I do is after the bill lading number, I take the first bill lading, which is from the lead, the front tank, and I put in the bill lading number like that. Then what I do is I hit that button right there that says one, two, three, and I put in a couple of those right there. And then I put in the second bill lading number, which would be the second product, which is in my second tank, AKA the pup, all right? And then I only can put in one weight. So I would put in the weight that is the total weight of both tanks added together. So I would take the lead and I would have two bills. I'd have a bill for the lead and I'd have a bill for the pup, all right? Your first tank and your second tank. I would take the weight from the front tank, I would add it to the second tank, and that is where, that is the weight that I would put in. The front tank plus the second tank. Any detention? No. And then on driver comments, I would put what is in my first tank, type one, the amount of ton, and I put a couple commas, and then I put what is in my second tank, slag, and the amount of tons. All right. So we're all legit with what we got because we only got one product. So we're gonna send that. Press OK. You're gonna have to wait 12 seconds. Press the back button. Back to workflow. We're at Lafarge, so now we're gonna hit the depart button. Bam. Go back to workflow and. All you'll see is where you're going. That's the receiver right there. You got the arrive button for when you get there. You see that details button right there? That gives you the commodity you're getting, cement type one, and it gives you the address, all right? 
Press the back button, back button. Now peep game. Logs. Events. Certification, certification. All right, there's our on duty loading. I wanna show you something. See where it says on duty, D? That means I'm the driver. The D means I'm the driver. On duty, I'm the driver. Now, I'm gonna pull to over five miles an hour and I'm gonna show you the difference between the status, all right? watch this see there's a d at the beginning it does not say on and then a d in parentheses which stands for on duty driver current status d that means you're driving bada bing bada boom enough said the point is changing your status from driving to on duty driver without using the yard movement button if you want to be in a status where you are sitting still Now remember earlier when I showed you how to immediately go on duty when you see that your on duty driver option is not available and I showed you how to get to it by hitting the rest brake button and then selecting yes and then hitting stop rest brake and now your on duty driver is available. I think I mentioned that there's another way to do that and it's just by simply waiting until your computer automatically does it. I remember the guy I was talking about who was impatient and he's like, I don't want to do on duty now. And he was choosing yard movement. I'm looking at him like, all right, so I'm going to show you the other way that you can do it. All you have to do to change your status from driving to on duty for a post trip or loading or unloading is simply wait until your computer automatically asks you, hey, what do you want to do from here? Because your truck's been stopped for a hot minute. Do you want to continue to be in driving status? Do you want to switch to on duty or do you want to switch to off duty? I'm going to show you what happens when I stop up here. Now, I personally, this is my system, this is what I do, you can do whatever you want. I'm gonna show you how to do that, how to go on duty automatically with the computer and how to animate it, but me personally, I want as much time on my driveline as I possibly can when I am done doing what I gotta do. So what I do when I'm unloading, I'm not talking about when I'm loading because remember, every situation is gonna be different. So if I get to a place and there's 30 trucks in front of me, why would I wanna be on duty that entire time? That's taking all kinds of time away that I can have available for me to get as far as I can to make as much money as I can. It makes sense, right? But when I'm unloading, right, I typically use the same exact procedure because that situation, the only thing that changes in the situation of unloading is the amount of time that it takes you to unload. Like for instance, the place I'm pulling into right now, it takes a little bit longer to unload than other places. Some places take me about 45 minutes to unload. Other places take me about an hour, hour and a half to unload like this place. Either way, I don't wanna be on duty unloading until I am within 15 to 25 minutes of being unloading. And that 15 to 20 so however many minutes of me being on duty is after I already have a 30 minute break in and I annotate that off duty while I'm unloading. And I don't care what you say DOT, annotate that off duty time while I'm unloading before I go on duty for load for unloading while I'm unloading however I said that I'm kind of distracted right now what I do for that off duty time is I annotate it waiting to unload and then when I know that I'm within 15 to 25 minutes from being out of there then I switch to on duty and annotate it unloading so the off duty for the first 40 minutes is off duty annotated waiting to unload when i know i'm about 15 to 25 minutes from being out of there i go on duty unloading that way when i leave i have the maximum amount of time to drive as possible because i don't know where i'm going when i leave here i could be going all the way up north and the last thing that i want to do is stop and pull over to take a half an hour break so as soon as i get stopped i'll show you how to do this yes and watch what happens that's automatically gonna come up we're gonna suspend that now look down at the bottom here 
and you're gonna see that I'm still in driving status. See, driving. Press back, e-logs, the D stands for driving. Now all I'm gonna do is go turn in my paperwork, all right? And watch what happens. Okay, you see that? Your vehicle has not moved for five minutes. Your status will automatically change to on in 20 seconds, counting down. You can either wait or you can switch to on, stay and drive or other status. You already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna choose other status. But if you were about to do a post trip, you could switch to on. It's gonna automatically do it, but I'm gonna choose other status. Just cancel, and hit rest break. Yes, because like I said, that 428 right there, when I leave here, I want it to say way more than that. Because what if I gotta go up north to Alpina? I don't wanna have to stop and take a half hour break. I wanna drive as long as I possibly can. And I want as many hours as I possibly can have. So I'm gonna go on rest break. You see how it says off. And um, when I am about 20 to 25, 15 to 25 minutes from being unloaded, then I will change my status to on. And to change your status to on, all you do is hit that stop break button. Bam. And now you can choose on driver and annotate it unloading. All right. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, we're going to stay off duty until we're almost out of here. So spin. And like I told you, I'm talking to a guy and he's literally... This dude was literally choosing on-duty yard movement to do a post trip and then immediately filling out his driver inspection log, having like a one minute time lapse between when he started and finished it. And I'm looking at him like, all right, so right now I'm off duty, right? Off duty. Waiting until that green line goes up to the maximum amount possible and I'm gonna go back on duty when I'm about 15 to 25 minutes from being out of here and annotate it, unloading. For now, logs. You can see I'm off duty, right? You can see where it automatically put me on duty and then went to off duty. As soon as I stopped, it put me on duty and then I chose off duty and there you see it. So go to events, all the way down. There's an automatic on and there's my driving. Took me an hour to get there. Intermediate log. And then there's my on that was automatic and then there's my off that was the, so basically the origin is who is making this duty status change the origin of this daddy duty status change was automatic by the computer the origin of this one was me the driver all right so let's just annotate that real quick annotate let's say checking in okay done submit now go back all the way down to the bottom that's annotated, checking in. Now let's go to the off and annotate that. Waiting to unload. Done, submit. Now when I wanna go on duty later on, all I'm simply gonna do, come on hourglass man, is hit that stop break and that'll allow me to change my status. Cause right now I can't change my status. But when I hit stop break, I will be able to change my status. You feel me? And I'll select on duty driver See, watch see how now it's available on duty driver i'll hit that and then annotate it on loading until i stop break i can't change my status all right we got done unloading our first tank i'm now ready to change my status i'm still off duty right now see how i got all my hours back all right so when i leave here if i gotta go far away i got plenty of time to get there and i don't have to pull over and take a 30 minute break like a loser sorry i'm just messing with y'all all right so stop break i can't change my status right stop break on driver not driving it's just simply the, i'm on duty and i'm the driver it's that simple on d see the difference between just the d and the on d you know who i'm talking about now let's go annotate it events all right there's my off that says waiting to unload there's my on that says checking in off waiting to unload on annotate unload done submit that simple. Now I'm gonna send my boss a text message that says I'll be out of here in 20 minutes. And just like I thought, I sent my boss a message that said I'll be out of here in 20 minutes. And my next load is going from Alpina to DTE. Guess what? It takes me longer to get to Alpina than the amount of time that I had to drive with when I got here. That's why I went off duty. Now I got plenty of time to get there without taking a 30 minute break. All right, so we're done unloading here. We already sent in our information, our bill lady number, our weight, and whether we got detention or not. And then I'm just gonna hit the park. Bam, you can see on duty primary driver. logs all right there's my graph you see that i'm on 
that was my on that was my on duty unloading and i haven't drove since then and you can see where i automatically went on here then i went off duty for my first tank then i went on duty for my second tank 30 minutes that's a sufficient amount of time to uh impress dot bada bing bada boom now watch what happens when i start driving Oh wait, oh, that's right, I wanna show you something. That's right, that's right, the events. So I'm on duty right there. Home. All right, you see where it says on duty D? That means on duty driver. Now watch what happens when I start driving. All right, click me right on the driver. It no longer says on duty parentheses D for driver, it only says D for driving. Now we're gonna go get our next load and we'll do our logs when we get there, peace. All right, so I got to my second pickup up in Alpena and I went off duty while I was loading myself. When I got back in the truck, I did not have all my minutes or hours back yet. And I went off duty at 2.14 and I was getting my time back at 14.44, which just passed. I only had like two hours where that green line is where it says driving time left. So I didn't move the truck until I got my time back. So now I got all my time back. I didn't want to have to wait another half an hour. You know what I'm saying? So, so you see how I got loaded and got my time back all at the same time, but I don't have my BOLs yet. So I'm still legit as far as DOT is concerned. So now I want to stop my break. Now I'm going to go to on duty yard movement to get me to where I need to go get on the scale and get my bills. We're going to annotate it loading. Done. Submit. And by the time I get done cleaning my lids and get my BOLs, my on duty time for loading will be a sufficient amount enough time that I need for regulations and it'll match my BOLs. Easy money. And the reason why I went on duty yard moves this time is because I had to go about a mile to get to where you're looking at right now. So I wasn't about to drive here at five miles an hour. See how the situation changed? All right, so I got my bills. Everything's filled out as far as my departure. You see, I'm still on duty yard movement. I started it at 2.45. Now, look at my bill lading time. I don't know if you can see that or not but it says time out 1502, right? I'm done, I'm out of here. Time out 1502. Look what time it is, 1505. So my bill ladings match my on-duty yard movement. Bada bing, bada boom. Depart, bam. So I departed within four minutes of getting my bills and I was on duty for a sufficient enough time and the time on my bills matched the time then I depart. See what I'm saying? Too legit to quit. And then to make sure I get all my time on duty, not playing tricks on myself, thinking that if I take off on on-duty yard moves, <clears throat> it's not gonna log me in as on-duty yard moves. I just stop when I'm completely done and I hit rest break. Yes. Hourglass. Now I'm on rest break, but as soon as I hit five miles an hour, boom, I'm off, I'm off rest break. And it didn't even log me in as rest break. So, it's all good. That's how you do it, bro. No, I'm just getting warmed up. Listen, the reason why I speed my voice up is because if I don't, the video will be about 580 hours long. If it's too fast talking and you're too slow thinking and it confuses you and baffles you, do me a favor. Don't watch my videos unsubscribe and make your own videos I'm doing the best I can here with what I got but I can't sit here and talk at this speed and have a video that people are gonna sit there and watch because it'll be just too long so I gotta speed it up if it's too fast for you and it confuses you hit the rewind button and press play again or just simply don't watch Given that's how we live it. don't be mad at the system it's simply how we've existed